What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to save storage space on your PS Vita. So this works for memory card users and custom firmware users that have an SD to Vita. If you guys are using custom firmware like me, um, this is probably going to be easier to manage your storage. And of course, we've got SD to Vitas, so we can upgrade our memory cards as well. Um, but this video applies to everyone that has a normal memory card, or if you just want to keep your SD card the same size. As you guys might know, PS Vita games can be quite large in size so if you get a few of them your storage space is quickly going to disappear so on my PS Vita I've got my main storage as my UXO and I've got an SD to Vita installed which has a 32 gigabyte micro SD card as you guys can see it says 12 gigabyte out of 28 gigabyte basically what that means is I've used 12 gigabytes so if you do the maths that is around 16 gigabyte of free storage a quick way to find out is to press select connect it to your computer and it will tell you the exact number that your PS Vita storage is so in this video basically Basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and kind of get a few extra gigabytes of storage. We're going to delete corrupted files, we're going to delete like failed downloads, all apps that have kind of failed and broken and they're just taking up space on your PS Vita and they're basically useless. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell just like me. If you guys haven't got it opened, um, simply just go and find it. Of course update Vita Shell to the latest version. A brand new version did actually come out a couple of days ago. The first thing we want to do is press triangle and we want to press X on refresh live area. What this is going to do is completely refresh your live area and if there are any broken or hidden apps it's going to refresh them and try and find them. For me it says refreshed zero items but if it does have a number for you there might be a few apps that you've forgotten about which you could possibly delete. Now if you guys have the free shop on your PS Vita, also known as PKGJ, let me just show you the app, this is what it looks like. If you guys have got this on your PS Vita and you've tried to install a demo before and it basically failed, what you want to do is open up Vita Shell, you want to go onto the UXO, you want to scroll down and you're looking for the PKJI folder. Now this folder should actually um, contain a few files. This also contains old updates which also clog up storage so we can simply um, press triangle and delete these but this folder will also contain the failed downloads so if you see any kind of files that look like this I'll put a picture on screen right now you can actually delete these because they're very old and failed um, so basically meaning they're just wasting storage. You can also delete all of these VPK install files as we no longer need these as well and that probably just filled up a bit of space. You can also check the P PKGJ folder, but I doubt there's going to be anything in there. The next thing to do is check your PS Vita for corrupted and apps that you've forgotten about. Obviously, if you just refresh your live area, it's going to come up with apps which were missing or apps which were broken. Just like this, Easy RPG Player. I never use this. I think I made a video on it. Um, oh, it looks like it does actually work. But apps like this where I don't really play, um, you might as well just remove them because obviously they're wasting storage. So to delete an app, I'm sure you guys know, you hold on it, you tap on the dots, you just go to delete and it says, would you like to delete? it including all of the data if you press x on ok it will also delete any of the files you had in the data folder so let me just scroll through my apps if i've got anything that i don't use i can simply delete it dreamwalker never really play it maybe i installed it once but now i don't really want it um, triangle for menu if you're on the pstv this also works and we can simply remove this as well so doing this just deleting old games and apps that you rarely use is also a great way to free up space if you delete a homebrew app and it takes a while to delete, don't worry, just simply wait, like give it up to a minute and it should be gone by then. So let's see, have I got any corrupted apps? I'm sure I do. Uh, if I try something that was probably on my old SD card, maybe like this, App Manager. There you go, the file is corrupt, completely pointless, and we can remove this as well. Now you can use apps like file managers to kind of sort out your PS Vita. Um, personally, I find it easier just doing it manually, just because I know what files to check, and you guys can follow along with this video as well. I probably have some other things that could do deleting. Um, but what you want to do next is go ahead and open up Vita Shell again. Lots of people install VPKs for games, demos, all that type of thing, and they don't realize that the 
VPK is just wasting storage because once you've got it installed, it's installed, you no longer need the install package file. So let's go onto the UXO. Let's see what stuff have I got on here that's wasting space, loads of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go through, delete all of this stuff. I think you can mark stuff as well. We can try it. PKGJ, we can mark that one. Music Premium, uh, VPKs, random VPKs that I've already installed. If we press triangle and delete, oops, I accidentally click rename, that was rubbish. Triangle and delete, let's try that again. Do you want to delete? There you go, it should delete all of them at the same time. And now we've got a clean UXO. So let's see guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot my PS Vita. And we can see, did I save a little bit of storage? or did nothing basically happen. Now, I did delete quite a few things, not that many, just kind of, you know, temporary files. The biggest way to get your space back is to delete those failed downloads if you have any. Um, also VPKs, sometimes if you install some kind of demo and the VPK is two gigabyte, obviously deleting that is gonna get you your storage back. So let me just run my custom firmware and then we'll be back in VitaShell. Now before I check how much um, like space I just got back, um, there's a few more things that we can actually check quickly. One is in Content Manager. If you open up Content Manager and tap on Manage Content on Memory Card, you can actually see what apps are using the most space. So if you just wait for it, it takes a couple of seconds to kind of like calculate your PS Vita's um, like content. But once it's loaded, you will be able to see. This works on SD to Vita and this also works on official memory cards. As you can see, um, PS Vita looks like it's taking the most. We've got PSP Other. This might be a few random things on here. Now, it's not going to show everything, um, I don't think, but it will show most of your stuff and some things it won't be able to calculate. So it looks like system use is quite high, um, but PS Vita is the highest one. Now, I guess this is going to be my free games that I use the most. So Borderlands 2, obviously, that's about 3 gigabyte. We have got God of War, which is also 3 gigabyte, and we've got Minecraft, which is 1.4. Now, I don't want to delete these, but you can see pretty much that's where all the gigabytes are going. So you can also use this for deleting stuff, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd say probably delete it off your home screen. Um, it's just a bit easier. Um, but yeah, what we can do now is just check out two more settings, and then we can see how much I saved. If you guys go into your UXO and you go inside of your app folder, you can delete apps in here, but I wouldn't really recommend it. You've got to be a bit careful. Some of these could be very important system apps for your custom firmware. So that is one alternative option. Also the data folder, sometimes you might delete a game and it will actually stay in the data folder. You can go inside of here, press triangle and obviously delete it manually. But again, I wouldn't really recommend it. So let's see how much data did I get back. And there you go guys. That is how much I got back probably about 1.40 gigabyte which isn't bad considering I just deleted files and like corrupted stuff that I never used and but obviously if you delete your games you're gonna get back the most space but keeping your PS Vita's SD card clean is always nice and you might be able to get two gigabyte back who knows if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one